Welcome to Boulder's Beach, South Africa, a recent home of African penguins since 1980s. And I will be your tour guide today. I'm a penguin, so I can give you the real scoop. Come on, let's go. Does anyone know what African penguins look like? No, he's a Galapagos. Mm mm, they're Magellanic. All right, here's our food. We have one dark breastband with various marks, black and white facial pattern with a white neck, and those make us the African penguins. Uh, sorry about the noise. We do braid really loud. That's how we get our nickname, Jackass. Magellanic and Galapagos are called Jackass as well, but we were the first being named. People thought we were burros when they heard us. Be careful of the cars. We don't have to worry about predators here, but we do have to avoid cars and dogs. Our African penguin once numbers in the millions before our eggs were eaten, our fish were harvested, and our water were covered with oil spills. Once humans got rid of our predators, hyenas and leopards, we found this subdivision near Cape Town, a safe place to rear our chicks. Look over there. We have lots of tourists. Sometimes they are a little annoying, but they usually behave and keep our predators away. You're looking at the artificial burrows human made for us. These artificial nests are made of fiberglass, so they get really hot unless they are covered with soil or in the shade of vegetation. However, we still prefer to find our own natural nests under vegetation or dig burrows when the soil is not hard to dig or easy to collapse. People bring the oiled penguins back to Boulder's Beach, feed us and wash us. However, washing costs a lot. They also give us pool to swim in, but not all penguins can be fitted in the pool. So it's really important to solve the oil pollution problem. Let's follow these penguins. We are heading to our favorite place. African penguins love gathering on the shores. The waves, the breeze, the smell of sea, everything is just so nice. And that will be our end of trip. <laughs>